Hello, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> welcome back to the vlog. Thank you so much for joining me. It is 5.03, Sunday the 8th of May, 93 degrees outside, and it's bad. I just had dinner, uh, I made a pizza, and I used, I think I've shown the pizza crust on the channel before, I didn't take a picture, I'm uh, sorry. Um, if not, I'm gonna leave them linked for you down in the description box. As long as you par-bake them, they are delicious. I really enjoy them, they get nice and crispy, and then you top them with whatever toppings you want, and you're good to go. And I am extremely full. I can only eat about half of these pizzas because they're just, they're and they're really, they're so good. You know, I just put sauce, and I actually don't use Rayo's, oh, sorry. I will leave down in the description box the name of the sauce. I don't have it in front of me, so, but I'll leave it in the description box under the, the crust for you. I just put sauce, cheese, hamburger meat, bacon, and a little bit of uh, Parmesan cheese on top. Delicious. I think she's going to go potty. So, today, last week's vlog I talked to you in Costco, I said I had a little bit of a, I guess the English call it a glow up for the backyard. Nothing too much, really, nothing too much. But there's something you should know. Yeah, that's a mess up there. We're working on it. I am a terrible gardener. I know I can't grow things. I know I kill things. I'm a way too much. I forget to water them. So, I am doing something to combat that. And I'm gonna show you as we go along. I know I'm a mess. Today is a makeup free day. We've already been in the pool. We've been for a swim. We've been planning next week's travel. We have been in the kitchen, all that sausage and stuff I bought at Costco, we had to process it, get it in bags, get it in storage containers to go in the freezer, things like that. Tomorrow, I am meal prepping. I, of course, will bring you in the kitchen with me to show you. I am meal prepping for our trip next week and for just, you know, meal prepping in general. I have a fairly uh, hopeful list of things I want to get done in the kitchen, we'll see how much I actually get done. So I'm not even gonna talk about it because whenever I talk about it, then I have to cut it because I've been overzealous in my thoughts and what I can get done. But I'm gonna do my best to get as much done tomorrow as possible. Tonight, I'm gonna show you these back here behind me and where I'm gonna put them on the yard in the yard and show you, you know, when it's all done. and. In the last camping vlog, the last two camping vlogs, the overnight vlogs, I showed you the little lights. I bought some for the backyard and little shepherd's hooks for the backyard so that I had a couple back here. I told you I wanted some in the backyard. And I also bought two more for the camper. So I have four in the camper and two back here. Plenty, that's plenty. And uh, yeah, but I needed some color in my backyard. And I do not have a green thumb. My friend Elliot, Matt and Elliot, Elliot has a beautiful garden. He's building a house. Well, he's remodeling a home. Um, and so he's gonna be starting a whole new garden project and I know I'm just gonna be just so badly wanting to do the things he does. I would love to grow beautiful things in my garden. But again, I'm away too much. I don't have patience and it. I just, no matter how hard I try, I can't seem to keep anything living. So, there you go. So I have combated that with faux flowers. You guys know that, I've done that for a couple of years now, several years now. Even out in the backyard, it's what works for us now. Someday, I will have a beautiful garden full of living, beautiful things. So, I have picked up these things and I'm gonna show you. Hold on, let me get the camera set up. One sec. You guys, I just sat here and told you everything and I wasn't recording. I'm telling you. Okay, so I'm gonna show you as a, uh, what I did this morning. So this morning, I put these baskets together, the ones I'm about to show you. Everything is from Amazon, everything. So what was that? Something moved in my pocket. Everything is from Amazon. It's very inexpensive. And on the little faux flowers, I'm gonna tell you, it takes more than you think it does. These are 10 inch little basket pots that I bought. 
Um, it's a four pack, there's a six pack, there's a one pack, there's, you know, you can get them in any, any variety of ways. They are so cute. They're not gonna last forever, but they'll serve their purpose. And you do need more flowers than you think. In my little 10 inch pot, I put seven stems of the little yellow flowers, one stem of the pinky red ones, and one stem of the ferns. Um, ferns. I would like some more of the ferns, and I may get them, I may not, I don't know, we'll see as they're up here. Um, but I intend to take these out seasonally. So instead of having to pull them out individually and restick them into the foam, I'm going to take the whole entire foam block out and store that, put another foam block in, and put different flowers in. Christmas, I can put poinsettia in. Um, the fall time, I can put in golden flowers and things like that, so the pool just turned off. Probably makes it a little easier for you to hear me. Anyway, so I this morning what I did was I took this, the, the foam, and I cut the foam in half, a little less than half, or a little more than half, so maybe two thirds and a third, um, and took that foam block and stuck the flowers all in the foam block. Now, uh, the first one I did, I fluffed it before I put it in. You don't wanna do that. You wanna fluff it after you put it in the basket. It's easier because the chains kind of get in the way, and it's a little difficult to get the, the flowers in with the chains. So, there you go. Now. That's all I did this morning. It took me five minutes per basket, if even. Here are the little hooks. I am going to go hang the hooks up on the back fence, and then I will hang the baskets, and I will show you. And it was very, very easy. The baskets are over here, and I'll show them to you a little closer up when I get them hung up in the backyard. So I will see you in just a second. Well, I'm gonna do a time lapse for you. Our bathing suits are out here drying, so it's not beautiful out here. One of these days, I'm gonna have a beautiful, beautiful backyard. Today is not that day. Can you see, can you see, let me see. Okay, I don't think my hooks are quite long enough, but I think I can handle that. I think it'll be okay. Worst case scenario, I'll have Robert put a couple of block, uh, put a block behind it, or I'll put a block behind it. But they look super cute. I like the way they came out. I need to adjust the other two, but let me show you this one. Isn't that the cutest? It's so cute. So it just brings a little color into the yard. You can see back here, I have it leaning forward. It's kind of sparse back there. I mean, you could certainly fill it more if you wanted, but I don't really want to invest any more in it. Um, but this is quite full, and it's uh, seven stems, seven of these, one of these, and one of these. So, no, it's two ferns. I actually put two ferns in this one because I had one left over. So there you go. So there they are all down the yard, and I'm gonna work on them for a little bit. I'm gonna fluff them up a little bit and uh, kind of arrange them better. <laughs> Fix that basket because it's crooked and uh, you know, go from there. I'm very excited. Um, that's exactly what I wanted. And then over here you can see, yeah, our grass is dead here. This is from the dogs. We got that one and then that one down there. The pool was so inviting today. Oh, it was so beautiful. I really enjoyed swimming today. So, but they're gonna look really good there off in the distance in the yard. From a distance, I mean, look, they just look like full pots of flowers. I mean, I know they're little, that's okay. They serve their purpose for me. I have some, I have some over here. So, um, those are the white ones that I, I think that's two bunches in there as well. I need to get rid of that. <laughs> and there you can see lots of things came in today. We had um, the shepherd's hooks come in, lots of packaging. Chewy came in, so Miss Fat. So there you go. All right, I'm gonna go fluff them up. 
And there they are at night, but I think it's blurry. Let's see. Yeah, this camera doesn't focus on light very well in the evenings, but I really love them. And there's the other one down there. Um, so my flowers hanging on the, I, I'm glad I did this. I, it's the little things that make me happy and uh, those certainly have made me happy. So there you go. And uh, next is some more updating on the patio. One of our signs, the strap broke on it. So um, that'll be coming this summer. You'll see this summer in the next couple of weeks. We're camping next week, so I won't have time, but our surfboards are growing. The sun, the wind was so bad the other day. We had a sun right here. It blew off and bent. So Rob's going to work on str it. Look, this wind, you guys. Honestly. <gasps> what is with the wind lately? It has been so windy these last few months. It's, I, it's crazy. Anyway, um, so we've, it's time to do cleaning and stuff like that. We've got a couple of boards that need to be hammered back up into place. Anyway, um, I know it's a mess back here and some of you are going to judge me and honestly, I don't care, <laughs> but I'm going to be putting the surfboards up. The sun will come back up. We have the sun over here. Um, but, uh, yeah, we never use this table. I mean, honestly, we never eat out here. I'd really much rather have like a comfortable seating area out here, but y'all, we have spiders and that's just, yeah. I really don't think that I could put, see, I would never sit on them because we have spiders. Um, we have the brown recluse here, which gets into stuff like that. And you just, no, thank you. I don't care to be bitten. Anyway, um, so yeah, so I will see you in the morning. And uh, yeah, thank you for indulging me and liking my little faux plants over there. <laughs> so hopefully they do well in the sun. I mean, this one has. This one's been out for quite some time and it's no problem. I had one over here, have one over here. Hasn't had any problems. Been out in this hot Texas sun for over a year now and no issues, so. Hopefully, these are plastic. They're not silk. They're plastic. So they're made to be in the weather. So, okay, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Lovely, huh? I promise you'll see me looking better <laughs> in this vlog. It's 822. It is Monday. Hold on, I, my watch. Okay, it's 8.22, Monday the 9th. It is 79 degrees outside already. We're still pretty breezy. I have just, in case you can't tell, and the camera's fogging up, just gotten off the treadmill. Whoo, it's warm. Hold on. We're gonna keep fogging up. So, today, we're gonna get in the kitchen, and um, after I take a shower, of course. <laughs> we're gonna get in the kitchen, and we're going to uh, go see something new and very special to us. Um, we have put a plan in place for this, and uh, yeah, you'll see when we get there. So, it's not a new house. Anyway, so we will show you that this afternoon. Right now I'm gonna cool down for about 15 minutes, then I'm gonna go put some dye in my hair, and uh, get in the shower, get dressed, and then I will meet you back in the kitchen. Puppers are going potty. I will see you in a minute. All right, you guys, it's a few hours later. It's almost one o'clock. I'm running very behind today. Um, so Robert will be home probably in an hour. So I think I have enough time to do one of the recipes and I'm going to start with the pizza pockets. Um, and it's been a while since I've done a recipe on the channel. So this is by Hey Keto Mama and I will leave it linked down in the description box and just like I used to do, classic, back in the day, <laughs> just earlier last year. <laughs> I haven't cooked on the channel in a long time. Um, I will not be leaving 
I will not give out the recipe on here. This is not my recipe to share. Hey Keto Mama has put in all the time, effort, and energy to create this recipe and put it up online. So for me, that is her recipe. So if you like this recipe, of course, I will leave it linked for you down in the description box. And um, as many of the items that I use that I can get on Amazon as I can, um, I mean, or you can just Google them or go to Amazon. Um, and uh, I will try and leave as many of them as I can for you. So I'm gonna make this recipe. This is a fat head dough. The difference is this one has yeast in it. it. The other one that I'm going to be making later is keto, kind of like, a, this is a pizza pocket recipe, which y'all know I love is what's it called not pigs in a blanket this one which i have some little pizza bites these are low carb keto pizza bites that was the other thing i wanted to do today but i think all i'm going to be able to get done today are the pizza pockets and honestly it's basically the same thing it really is the difference is the pizza bites has a different fat dough one that i've not tried before this one is a little bit different as well because it has anthem gum in it and yeast so we're gonna try both, we're gonna see. We're gonna see what it does and uh, go from there. I have told you before, it works much, much better if um, I use a stand mixer to mix my fat head dough because my hands are weak and now especially with my finger, y'all, I don't wanna talk about that finger. Anyway, um, so yeah, so we're gonna get started. Um, I'm going to kind of just sort of put you to music and at the end, if there's anything I need to tell you, then I will tell you. But otherwise, this vlog is going to be very, very long if I don't. So <laughs> there you go. So, all right. Um, oh, I did color my hair. I got the color in there. So there's a little less gray today as there has been in the last few vlogs. Um, and uh, yeah, so after this, I'm going to clean up the kitchen. We'll try this together. I'm not hungry. I just had a huge breakfast. I didn't eat until late this morning because I went for a run and all that stuff. So, um now this recipe, the filling calls for mozzarella, pepperoni, Italian sausage, and feta. I will be replacing the Italian sausage with hamburger meat because as you guys may or may not know, I'm not a sausage eater. I'll eat beef sausage, but I don't care for um, Italian sausage. I, don't, I just am not a big sausage eater. Breakfast sausage I'll eat here and there. Okay, enough talking. Let's get started. I need to pull out my mixer and then off we will go.
timer for 20 minutes. Listen to that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that looks delicious. So we're gonna finish off the rest of the recipe. I'm gonna follow the instructions. Now, it probably doesn't mean this kind of cheese when it says Parmesan cheese, but I have to tell you, this is what I really prefer. You hear my dishwasher? Really prefer when it comes to <laughs> this kind of thing. If y'all could smell this, oh my goodness, the addition of the yeast really makes a difference in the way these smell. They smell like traditional pizza dough, obviously, because you smell the yeast. So we're gonna brush the top of these with the oil, I mean the butter. Sprinkle them with a little bit of Parmesan. Stick them back in the oven to brown up a little more. <laughs> it's going to be really hard for me to resist <laughs> eating these right away. Look at that. Robert is home now, and he's going to take us on an adventure in just a minute. We're very excited, very excited about this. It's very exciting for us, probably not for y'all that much, but it is for us. Look at that. This little salty bits of goodness on there. All right. So back in the oven it goes. If you could just smell this. You guys, this to me is perfection. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I'm gonna let them cool and then we're gonna try them. Nice and, uh, rookie mistake, no parchment paper. But we can still get it off even though this is non-stick, but we need. Don't be like me, use parchment. We'll try that one. <laughs> Let me soak this. Okay, I have to tell you, these are pretty substantial. These are big. We've been resting for about five minutes now. I don't want them to get cold. I want to still see the cheesiness. Now, the difference between this and some that I've made in the past, I didn't put any sauce in these. And I really think that makes a difference because you don't have all that extra moisture breaking apart the dough. So, mm. all right. So let's cut off this. It's not crispy. It's probably okay. It probably could actually be solved with a little extra time in the oven. But look at that. Oh my goodness. That I have to say, very bread-like texture. Oh, this is gonna be good. Robert brought home tubes for our camping next week. Hold on. Oh, there you go. Now you're up a little better. I don't, I don't know. There we go. So let's give this a try. I put hamburger, pepperoni, mozzarella, and Parmesan cheese in there. Just a little piece of the crust. Oh. This is very good. All right, this is a winner. You could do so much with this dough, ham and cheese. You could make chicken, um, what's that chicken with the Frank's Red Hot Sauce, that? Buffalo chicken, put it in here. You could fill this with anything, eggs and bacon. This dough is fantastic. I'm gonna hold my judgment on the next one until we do the next dough because it has the addition of psyllium husk in it, which may give it a, more of a bread-like texture, even more than this. This is really good. The telltale sign of this, or the decision maker on this, will be how it reheats. So, this is very good. Mm. The way something smells really helps it taste better. The yeast smell in this has a distinct impact on its flavor. Of course the yeast does, but being able to smell it really makes a difference. This dough is going in the lineup. Robert's having pizza. Okay, I'm gonna pack this up and then we're gonna go. So we'll see you in the car. So when you come up to a camper place, uh, this has, 
That's what you should expect. Not the little SUV we're driving, but you know, all the big trucks. We love a showroom full of RVs. Now you guys do not get the wrong idea. We are not buying today. I'll fill you more in after I show you what we're here to look at. Look at that little baby. It's so cute. And it's still $21,000. No slides. Look at this. And bunks. Oh, let me zoom out. Got bunks. Got some counter space here. Nice. This is very nice. You know? Why not? We got some littles. I got this refrigerator's right there. Let's look at this one. This is an Imagine by Grand Design. Oh, wow, a front kitchen. That's nice. No, I'm sorry, it's a rear kitchen. I say that, I do that all the time. Nice bathroom. Nice. That's pretty. There we go. Okay. I'm going to go back to Robert. <laughs> Got the VIP ride today on the golf cart. cart. Ooh, that one's made for when we come with the whole family. Let me see one of this ones out there. Alright, you guys. Pick out the one you want, okay? Let me know down in the description box. Ooh, look at the little hideout. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, the little keystone. Oh, it is right there. It does have some giddy up and go. Where's the seatbelt? Ooh, look at that. Ooh. There's lots of eye candy out here. Oh. See, honey, we need that. Ah, sure we do. These big old fifth wheels. Monsters. And the one we're looking at is even bigger. You will not believe the size of this thing. Ooh, look at that big old Super C. There's an Outback in there. Ooh. All right, you guys. Looky, looky, looky. Hang on. Look at that. All right, let's go inside and then I'll show you. I'm so excited. <laughs>
will be an outdoor kitchen in there. There's not on this one, but. All right, pin box. There are five slides in this bad boy. But this is one of the biggest features for us. Look at that, honey. Easy reel, look at all that storage. And look at this. Look at that, and this uh, slides right in and out. You have no idea. Poor Robert pulling out those big old heavy storage containers. Oh my goodness. Look how tall that is, you guys. Okay, look, there's Robert for perspective. That's massive, frameless windows. And this is heated and cooled, or heated, it's heated. It's not cooled. So, but there are five slides. Uh-uh, that one's, it's just a piece of tape. So, did you open this one? Not yet, but this is where the outdoor kitchen pulls out. Yeah. Nice. So the outdoor kitchen would slide out on one of those rails and come out. It's got a black stone on it, a sink, and then a, an L-shaped table that comes out and then a bar that pops up on the back. It is the perfect outdoor kitchen for us. Exactly what we would want. And there's room on it to put a cooktop or look at that. Woo! This one's bigger than that one. Uh, maybe they're about the same size. This bad boy is 43 feet long. 43 feet. Wow. All right. We'll explain more when we get in the car. <laughs> you ready? We're ready. Thank you. What did you think? That was awesome. Yeah. Okay, what's the model number? It is a Grand Design 390RK. There is also the RK-R, which is residential refrigerator. Yeah. So if you want to know how much that costs, Google it. <laughs> because, you know, depending upon where you are is, you know. And what, there's different packages that yeah. are on there. Yeah. So, let me explain. So, we love our camper. You guys know we love our camper. And currently, as of now, we have no intention of getting rid of it. It would be something that either one of the kids would buy from us, Taylor, or it would be something we traded in. It, you know, we're just not sure yet. That... Let's be clear, buy, not given to. Oh, yeah, they would have to buy it from <laughs> us. Yeah, we're not that generous. I already told y'all once, hold on. I already told y'all once, we're not generous parents. We made our kids pay for their school, pay for their cars. They had to learn to manage their own money. Anyway, so of course we helped them out, but we made them anyway. So we're looking at a couple of years for that. So there's two things that have to happen for that bad boy. One, it is outrageously expensive, especially right now. Our RV price is going to back down a little bit. I kind of feel like they might a tad, a hair. Uh, to give you an example, our camper is worth about $5,000 more than we paid for it, um, which is a pretty big deal. <laughs> so, um, but again, we're not getting rid of our camper. It is absolutely perfect for us and perfect for now. The second thing that would have to happen with that big old beast is we'd have to buy a 3500. We have a 2500 and even our 2500, he's older, so he, he's not towing that. Rocco, rock, my arm, Lord. Oh. Rocco is not towing that beast of a trailer. That thing weighs like, what, 16,000 pounds, was it? Fully uh, loaded? I believe it's, it's like 14, eight and 16, nine. Yeah. Fully loaded. Yeah, so there's that and we would have to order ours because there's a couple of things if I'm going to invest that kind of money in a camper we're gonna add some more to it it will have a tankless water heater it will have 
uh, slide toppers. Woo! It will have a dishwasher. It will have washer dryer, that kind of thing. That bad boy is what we intend to hit the road in for six months or longer. So we have a plan. We are developing this plan. We are working on this plan for our future on the road. And that type of RV is the kind that we could seriously spend a significant amount of time in. So, but. But it is the worst time to buy a vehicle and the worst time to buy an RV <laughs> yes. in the last 60 years. Yeah. So we're yeah. gonna wait a little while. Yes, we're definitely waiting a little while. Not to mention the fact, I'm sorry, I keep moving the camera. Not to mention the fact it's expensive and we have to plan for that type of investment. So I think anybody would. I mean, <laughs> so yes. But that, we wanted to go see it. Robert found that floor plan. Robert found this camper and he showed it to me, I don't know, two or three days ago, four or five days ago. And we have been obsessively watching videos on it. Now we just happened to get lucky and they had that right here in, in Katy at home. How that happened, I don't know because that is a custom order camper. So fifth wheel. So there you go. So please don't get any ideas. We are not buying that anytime soon. We wanted to go and see it. It is hopefully a plan for our future. And um, you know, a few years from now, at least two, at least. And um, yeah, so we are planners. We plan in advance. <laughs> He's laughing because we always change our plan. <laughs> anyway, we, we have a hard Squirrel. time. Squirrel. We're easily distracted, yes. So there you go. There's a cruise. Hey, there's a cruise. Right, right. So, you know, we're trying to make plans and kind of feel things out and see where we want to go in the next couple of years. So we love cruising. We absolutely love cruising. You know, we've set our sights overseas starting next year. No, the year after. 2024. 2024. So. 2023 is Yeah. So. You know, we're expanding our horizon. That's what we're doing. So there you go. So keep watching and you'll see as things unfold. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you in a second. Who's ready, babe? Finn's ready. Yay! So unlike the truck, Finn just took a couple of days. So we're gonna go pick him up and drop off the rental car and uh, head on home. We're back in the baby. Very happy to be back in him. Front turn. So he looks really good. They took him, took good care of him. They communicated with us very, very nicely. Yes. And uh, that. yeah, that was really nice, especially after the last place we were with Rocco and no communication. Yeah. Issues. Oh my gosh, this was so much better. Anyway, whoo! The shiny is no warm. It is like 91 degrees outside. All right, we're gonna head back home, and uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get back in the kitchen today or tomorrow, but um, I'll show you what I do. Oh, I don't even have the rest of that hot pocket for dinner tonight. Actually, I brisk it. Good morning, you guys. It is 9:15 Wednesday, the 11th of May. It is already 81 degrees outside. It is hot outside and it's only going to get hotter. And this week in the camper, we leave tomorrow. What happened? Oh, it's okay little dog, come on. He's just afraid of you, baby. He'll get used to you and won't hiss at you anymore. <laughs> that was Bug who hissed at little dog because he's still not quite sure of little dog. Little dog can be a little nosy, like with his nose up in your business, and so is Addie, but for some reason it's much more tolerable from Addie to these cats. I don't know why. Probably because, I don't know, maybe she emits a different vibe, but little dog, not so much. Anyway, um, takes him a little longer. So tomorrow we are camping. I told you this week we, were, we vlog, we were gonna be doing a whole bunch of uh, in the kitchen and well, that just hasn't worked out. I'm trying you guys, I really am, but it is crazy around here. Things are crazy. <laughs> um, 
right now I'm gonna get this baking done, a little bit of baking, just a teeny tiny bit. I have actually made this on the channel before, but then I have to go um, stop at a UPS store and drop off some returns for Nordstrom and Amazon, and uh, then I have to go to the office today. So, um, and then when I get home tonight, I'll be cooking tacos, which it's just tacos. And, no, that's the oven. And, um, uh, let's see, what else am I doing tonight? Come home, take a shower. We'll probably jump in the pool and then go take a shower, then cook dinner, then um, do last minute things around the house, like clean the bathrooms and make sure the floors are vacuumed and mopped. Tomorrow we leave. We do have to work in the morning. Um, before we leave and um, so we're hoping to hit the road around noon one o'clock so yeah but you will see this on the day we get home so that's the day this vlog is posting so thank you so much for indulging me in this already long vlog because I've started editing it already anyway so we are going to New Braunfels and we're gonna be on the Rio at the Rio Guadalupe RV resort on the river and we're very excited about that so we'll see what we get up to this week for camping anyway um, you'll see those vlogs next okay so what I'm making right now is fluffy keto buns from the sugar-free Londoner I have made these before I usually make them at Thanksgiving or when we're gonna have like a roast or a family meal or something they're very good they're very easy um, I don't know how well they keep though. I've not ever made them and not consumed them in the same meal with like family and me. So, so I'm gonna make some now. I'm gonna make eight to get me through this coming week. Um, I can use them at breakfast time. I can use them at dinner time, just whatever. Um, and if I don't get through them in a couple of days, I'll stick them in the freezer. So there's that. I had those pizza pockets that I made earlier this week. I had one for dinner. They're delicious. They heat, be reheat beautifully. Love them. I still want to try the other dough with the psyllium husk. I'm going to leave that recipe linked for you down in the description box. I still want to try that one because I just want to try that dough. I'm all about ingredients I already have trying new doughs. I'm fine with that, but or new recipes with ingredients I have. I don't want to be buying new stuff. I did buy some new crackers from Fat Snacks. I was hoping they'd be in by now, but they haven't even, I don't know what happened. My order's like all jumbled up and I keep getting text messages saying they received my order. I don't know what's going on, don't know. Anyway, um, and so there. So I have decided to try those, but that's really, that's very, that's about it that I'm gonna try. Next week, um, I did have a couple of new recipes coming up from Keto Focus that she has that I wanna make. That'll be next week after we get home from camping. You'll see that vlog in like five vlogs from now. So <laughs> she made a queso that looked really good. And I have the ingredients on hand. Okay, I, I gotta get busy. So we need eggs, which are at room temperature, which are over here. Water, almond flour, coconut flour, psyllium husk powder, uh, baking powder, sea salt, and some seeds for the top, sesame seeds, which I do have. So I'm just gonna put you to music because this vlog's already long enough. And then I will meet you back here when everything is done. If I have any tips that I need to tell you, any information, I'll let you know. But again, I've made these on the channel before. Can I help you, baby boy? Can I help you? Can I, can I help you? Excuse me, sir. No, sir. No, no, it's a, oh, <gasps> bad kitty. Oh my goodness. Mommy's cooking. <laughs> oh, love. But I want bites, mommy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now I gotta wash my hands all over again. He's very food motivated, very people food. This is Mozzie, very people food motivated. <laughs> Oh my love. Ugh, excuse me, I gotta wash my hands now after I adjust the camera. Now that I've probably deposited a ton of cat hair in my dough.
so the dough has rested for a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna divide it into four, and then each of those into two. Um, I took those egg whites and scrambled them for the dogs for breakfast. You do your own research. Um, my dogs have been eating eggs since, well, Addie, since she was born. This dough may be a little wet. Uh, it may have needed a little bit more um, flour, coconut flour, but that's all right. Well, it'll do, it'll dry out. It, it, they may be a little dense, but they'll be okay. Anyway, um, so I have scrambled, they're over there cooling on the stove right now. Um, so they eat breakfast at 10 a.m. So no, sir, Grayson now is very curious. Whatever it is over here must smell very good to them. So, cause all of the cats have come over to investigate what I am doing. <laughs> they normally have no interest in what I am doing in the kitchen. Well, unless there's meat in, or bacon. There we go. This dough is not sticky. It's a very damp dough. Let me add a little more to this one. Mozzie is gonna try and get up here again. Mister, oh my goodness, you guys, hang on. Mister, you are not allowed up here. Mommy is cooking. You're gonna get your hair in everything. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's so mad at me. I know some of you are absolutely revolting right now and disgusted that that happened. Look, I live with six cats, yeah, so it happens. And uh, I don't mind, and you're not eating it, so you don't have to worry. Okay, so I can tell you right now, these are too moist, but um, we're gonna make do. We're gonna see how this does. And next time I'll know better. But I don't recall them being this moist last time I made them. They very well could have been, but I don't re Oh, let me get my sesame seeds, hang on. All righty, now hers, she did put a little crisscross on the top, so we'll see if this will hold that crisscross, because like I said, these are a bit moist. All right, the oven is preheated. I'm gonna put them in and I will see you when I take them out. Set the timer for 25 minutes. 25 minutes, starting now. By the way, you have a new notification. Do you want to hear it? Yes. One new notification. From Amazon, U.S. National Weather Service has issued an air quality alert for Katie. It'll be in effect until May 11, 7 p.m. CDT. Alexa, thank you. You're very, very, also very welcome. I love Siri, but I love Alexa. A lot more. Don't tell Siri. Everybody's having breakfast over here, the puppers. They're very happy with their breakfast. Okay, so I did tell you guys, I know I said I'd come back when they were done. I lied. <laughs> um, we never use our table outside. And uh, I'm gonna adjust you so you don't have to look at that mess back there. <laughs> There's a mess over there. Hey, um, I have picked up these melamine plates. Costco had them. They were $24.99. Costco had them down to $14.99. That was a fantastic price. I was not going to pass it up. If you've ever priced out melamine on uh, Amazon or anywhere else, that stuff is expensive. And $25.99 for a 12-piece set was a heck of a deal to begin with. And then down to $14.99 for a 12-piece set? Yes, ma'am. I picked it up. This is hand wash only. This is not microwave safe. Well, maybe this is, but um, yeah. So I picked up these sets. Heavyweight and durable, perfect for indoor, outdoor entertainment, 100% melamine, dishwasher safe. Not for use in the microwave or oven, wash before first use. So there you go, you cannot use them in the microwave. So let me get this out to recycling. And I will show you this full set once I get it out of this box. But you guys, this set is fa fantastic. And eventually, if we'd like to put it in the camper and just remember not to use it in the microwave, that might happen too. Um, you know, we're kind of still feeling out what we want in the camper and what we don't. 
And after that beautiful fifth wheel I showed you, we'll have a dishwasher in there and a lot more room in the kitchen. And melamine lasts forever. Uh, it can get scratched up eventually. We used to only have melamine when the kids were little because they would break things. <laughs> and I had my grandparents set, which now is in my one of my children's kitchens. That's how long it'll last. It, my grandparents got it when they got married. So anyway, um, so here you go. And they're multicolored. There's blue. Whoops. There's this orangey color. This teal green, blue, and blue. And then the plates and the bowls have uh, animals or uh, water creatures on them. We have a starfish, we have a seahorse, we have a sea turtle in case Dee ever comes to dinner at my house, and we have Mr. Krabs. So, um, and then the bowls are all the same. They're just this, but the different colors on the back. I absolutely love this set. I have had my eye on this set for quite some time. And um, yeah, so there you go. Now I have a service for eight, and um, which is great considering there are currently eight mouths in my family at a meal. So um, if we wanna come out, everybody comes over for a meal. There you go. And you know, the best time really for us to eat outside or something is Thanksgiving. The weather here at Thanksgiving is generally pretty nice. It's not generally cold or rainy or anything. It's like perfect weather to sit outside. So maybe we'll try that this year. I don't know if, if, if I am home for Thanksgiving. Okay, so I'm gonna open the second set while those are cooking and uh, I really will see you back here when they're done. And then I promise this vlog will be over in your time with me. <laughs> For this moment, we'll be finished, and I really, again, appreciate all the time you've given me in this very, very long vlog. <laughs> okay. So, here they are. Um, they look darker than they have in the past. I don't know why that is. Who knows? But they do. So, we're going to let them cool for a minute, and uh, they've just come out of the oven, so let me separate them. Hi, kitty. Whew. They did keep their little crisscross. Again, they're darker than they were the last time I made them, um, that I recall. But, you know, that could be a difference in psyllium husk, brands, anything. Could be anything. So, but um, they're nice and crusty on the outside. I'm, ex I'm excited to try these. So, um, she calls them breakfast muffins. I'm not quite sure why, but um, there's three carbs or 3.3 carbs per little muffin. And I bet if you kind of spread them out a little bit and put a hole in the middle of them, you could call it a bagel. <laughs> okay, these are warm, no longer scorching hot. So here is one, there we go. So I'm just gonna kind of break it in half. Ooh, it's kind of dense and let you see. Ooh, look at that. That actually looks pretty good. Is it purple? Yes. Okay, so it's Sicilian Husk that have done this. I usually use the Now brand, but it was out, so I had to use these. That's what it is. That's the reason for the color of these. I don't actually like that. I will use up the Sicilian Husk and switch back to the Now brand. That's my coffee. So let's give this a try. I mean, it's no difference in taste. It's just a difference in color. My butter is rock solid, so. So I think I've told you this before. Psyllium husk powder in particular. Psyllium husk can have kind of a texture to it that I'm not fond of. Can sort of feel it on your tongue, whereas psyllium husk powder is more finely ground, obviously. So... I really like what it does to bread, um, bread. And I think that's one of the reasons why I really like Sugar-Free Lenders recipes. A lot of her recipes is that's what she uses. And that's why I really wanna try that pizza crust recipe because psyllium has powder is in it. So I really think that that is going to be a game changer for me. So psyllium husk powder is a fiber. You need to make sure you drink a lot of water. Okay. So, 
I'm gonna finish this and again the color of mine is because of the type of psyllium husk hold on focus there we go because of the type of psyllium husk I used um, but uh, I highly recommend these Woo! very inexpensive super duper easy to make super duper easy and tastes good um, I think if we experiment and put a little yeast in these it might give them even more of a bread like taste so that might be something that we do going forward, but I have eight of them here and it will take me days to go through this. So there you go. These are going in the camper. I really enjoy this. Yes, I still love my carbonate bread. Don't get me wrong, but I've told you guys that stuff is really, really, really expensive. So if I can make my own, then I will. Sugar Free Londoner has a recipe for bread that has psyllium husk in it and very similar ingredients to what's in the carbonate. So. It won't be one net carb. I don't know what they do to that to make it one net carb, but for me, it'll be low carb enough or gluten-free, grain-free for me. So that will help. Okay, I'm gonna finish this bite. I'm gonna wrap these up. I'm gonna go to the office and get this day moving. Thank you so much for joining me on this very long vlog this week. I sincerely appreciate you and appreciate you spending your time with me. Coming up is camping and then home vlogs again for just a little bit. I have some cruise content that I intend to film. You gotta hold me to it, I gotta get it done. Videos that you guys have requested and I have ideas up here in this brain of mine that's working. And we're gonna be working on the closets, transforming those back two bedrooms back there. That is my summer project are those two bedrooms. And then over the course of the fall and the winter, I'd like to really refresh and organize the, these front two rooms. So not don't want to make too many changes, but that's what's happening. So that's where we're going. That's what you can expect this summer. Thank you so much for joining me. I sincerely appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and we will see you next time. Bye.